Over the past decade, we've stayed in hundreds of unique rental properties around the globe. So we've partnered with Airbnb to create a series called Meet Your Host. Their platform has seen tremendous success for hosts of unique stays. We'll be visiting these unique properties around the world and hearing from the people who brought them to life. Hey, I'm Kristen Sarah, and welcome to another episode of Meet Your Hosts. Today I am in Malmer, Ontario, Canada, where I'm meeting up with Denise, Airbnb host of Rock Hill Park. Now, Denise started her Airbnb journey by accident. She purchased a Lotus Bell tent for her brother-in-law's wedding, and it was so well received that she decided to put it up on Airbnb. It got an immediate response, she was fully booked, and well, the rest is history. Hi Denise! Hi Kristen! Nice to meet you, I love hugs so. Nice to meet you as well! <laughs> Today the Bell Tent is one of several Airbnbs on this 122 acre property. But in this episode, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Bell Tent along with a cozy A-frame cabin. Amazing. This whole property, we kind of took a little bit of a walk around and it's beautiful. I can't wait to learn more. But let's start with this A-frame. It's one of the several unique stays on the property. Well, the A-frame has actually been here, we think, about since the 1970s. Um, so we've just very recently restored it. So we've used, as you'll see inside, like some cedar. We've used some restored wood. And who, when you say weed, who, who restored it? Were you part of it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, so it was my husband and I that restored it. Um, a very good friend of mine helped with... Um, doing the restoration as well as the design. Her name is Brittany from Silver Birch Design, local fantastic designer. Um, she helped with the restoration as well as some of the pieces in the inside that you'll see. Um, but it's it's been a lot of fun and I'm so excited to have it uh, listed on Airbnb. Okay, well, let's go inside. Let's sure. take a look. As soon as I came in here, I smelt that like cedar wood which this A-frame is made out of, and it just gives me that like that warm, cozy cabin feel immediately, yes. which yes. feels really nice. And that's definitely what we were going for. We we um, put the cedar on the two walls intentionally for that smell. We love the smell of cedar. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other wood that we had done, so this is um, restored wood that we put underneath the roof. Yeah. Um, so that wood was reclaimed. We painted it just to make it a little more unison. Um, this window in the back. Uh, Which is, is beautiful, by the way. Like seeing the forest <laughs> right there above your head when you're sleeping. Yeah, it's, it's uh, we thought it was such a nice feature in itself. You don't need any artwork, right? You've got just the natural trees in the background. Um, but that is also a restored window that we put in. Um, even the chairs that you see here, um, they were used chairs that I found at a restore. And I, and I like like the little touches, like the sign, for example, which I find is really nice. It really like makes the experience, the little touches. That's one of the things I have enjoyed most is the touches. I, I love doing the touches for guests um, when someone books and I know it's their, I'll, I'll try to have communication with them. Like, is it your anniversary or birthday? And I always try to do in all of the listings that we have some sort of touch. And I think that makes it just so much more personable. We've had guests now coming back for a third time. So they've come, they've for example, been in the, the bell tent and then they've come camping and one particular family is actually arriving this weekend and staying in the blue cabin. So it's been, it's been very nice to be able to have people come back and, and get to know them and know when they're coming, who they are and be able to welcome them. And yeah, it becomes their nice. special place that yes. they want to keep coming back to. Yeah. There's also the option to have like catered kind of meals yes. provided yes. by an incredible chef <laughs> who can customize to whatever di dietary needs. Yes. Um, yeah. Gluten free, vegan, what, vegetarian, whatever. Yes. Yeah. And she's local as well. Yes, she's local. So Brenda from Healthy Cravings uh, is just north of us. Fantastic. She'll do. Um, 
you know, vegan, gluten free, uh, and it doesn't have to be exactly like she she's, but she she leans definitely as local as possible as well as healthy as as possible. Uh, we also have a local business that we try to support um, that has delivered like local pizzas for people on the mm. property. So this, that's the definition of glamping. It's like when you go from like just like a cooler of like frozen vegan dogs or yeah. hot dogs, whatever you eat, to like okay, glamping. Yes. <laughs> I like all the little pockets out throughout the property, like the sauna, you have the mm -hmm. lake, you can go kayaking, just relax yes. there too. And there's a little yeah. seating area by the, the washroom. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, like. there's there's endless things to do and yeah. the the hiking on, on our property as well as the hiking on the Bruce Trail right adjacent to us is yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, if you like hiking, this is a perfect area to and be. A lot of people come here for hiking. Yes, actually a lot of Airbnb guests, when they uh, will message ahead of time, one of the first things they're asking about is the Bruce Trail that's right adjacent to us. Love it. I've actually known about these types of tents, but I've never been inside of one, so it's it's beautifully designed. Thank you. You did a really good job. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's been fun and and it's been collecting things along the way um, to put in here, uh, like from some of the flowers that are in here. I actually even made myself the ones that were on the the bed. You have several unique stays on the property, but the tent is how people find you the most. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. It's, 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 that's very true. Kristen, what you're saying, um, for some reason it's the tent. That's what brought me here. Yes. And I want to know if you don't mind sharing budget, like how much did it cost to set all of this up? It was approximately maybe $6,000 for the tent. Uh, that was a few years ago. I don't know their prices now. Um, the cost to build the deck. And then really, like I said, everything inside, we, made the bed ourselves um, and just finding little things here and there, repurposing furniture uh, to be able to to have the furniture in the tent. So do you think it's safe to say everything, the deck, the tent, all the stuff inside the furnishings costs under 10 grand? Absolutely. Cheap to start, so unique, yep. it stands out and you're getting a lot of business mm -hmm. and like it really goes to show that anyone can do it if you have like a, a unique idea and um, create like this, you know, experience for people that it, it can really, like anybody can do it. How long did it take you to make that money back by host, by being a host? Oh, I would say but probably the first season. And it, cause it's only up in the summer, like right. from spring to fall. Right. Which is a um, short time. Which is short time. It's yeah. not yearly. So in that first season, I would say it paid for itself. That's incredible. So the history of Rock Hill Park dates back as far far back as the late 1950s um, when Elwood Hill inherited the property. He saw so many ideas and he was a, uh, you know, a man of so many dreams and aspirations. He was actually the one that started Rock Hill Park and hosted many concerts back in the day. Uh, Willie Nelson, Charlie Pride, The Guess Who, Barbara Mandrell, just to name a few. The, there was many, many concerts. Many, many people who came to this property through the 60s, the 70s, the early 80s. Um, and when you're on this property, you feel the energy of the history and all of the the excitement and, and good times that everybody had. With it having so much history and um, relevance to this area, when Trevor and I purchased the property five years ago, we, uh, we bought it um, for the organic farming and that was our intentions. We have a potato business and we bought the property for the organic farming. Uh, we currently have all organic potatoes, peas and hay. Uh, guests uh, on Airbnb love to go even walking through 
the property, the trails that we have here. Some of them late fall, uh, we took up and were picking some of their own potatoes and bringing it down on their, their campfires to cook their potatoes. Uh, so they thought that, that was pretty, pretty nice to be able to do. The guests that we've had coming here are some of the most unbelievable people I've ever met. Um, there's something about Airbnb and what it attracts, the people it attracts, uh, has been incredible. We've had honeymooners, we've had people celebrating birthdays, we've had wedding proposals, we've had um, some like people just wanting to have a little bit of a break and coming with their families as well, having the kids come and just have some, just a relaxing stay, uh, enjoying the, the serenity, the peacefulness, just the relaxation. Coming here, it's, it's uh, people feel a lot of the, just the downtime. And um, honestly, that's what I feel their energy off of them. And it's been the best part about hosting, yes. The advice I would give to someone that uh, is thinking about hosting a unique stay on Airbnb um, would be just go back to what we were talking about earlier is um, what would you want to have if you were staying there? So when you're about to host, you just think, what are those nice touches that would make it memorable um, if you were to stay there? So, and guess, you know, it does. When you're trying to, when you're putting in the effort to make them feel welcome, they will feel it. If you're putting that energy out there to, to um, make it that, that they feel good about coming here and, and, and whatever, for what, whatever reason they are coming for, uh, everybody has their own story, um, to make them just um, feel special. Quite often, it's the simplest ideas that can turn into huge business opportunities. For Denise, this Airbnb family-run business has given her more time with her family, as well as the opportunity to teach her kids the ins and outs of running a business. It also brought back energy to this historical land.